hello and welcome you all dear students today's topic is smith chart this is the most important topic as far as the subjects electromagnetics is concerned dear students i will be covering all the types of numericals related to smith chart right from the basics so do not skip any video there will be different parts of uh, these videos for in the first part i will be teaching you how what are the different scales on the uh, smith chart and how to mark different points on the smith chart to get an idea of the smith chart i will show you how the points are actually plotted on the smith chart before that if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel do subscribe the channel so without wasting the time let us start the topic as i mentioned we are supposed to do the calculations using the smith chart what is a smith chart it is the different kind of graph which contains resistive circles and reactive circles what is resistance and what is reactance if i will write some value like 2 plus j3 this real part which is 2 is known as the resistive part so it represents the resistive part whereas the term associated with j is known as the reactive part so 3 is the reactive part it can be 2 plus j3 or 2 minus j3 actually i will show you on the smith chart there are two circles two types of circles one type of circle is normal circles like this there are n number of circles which are marked on the chart these circles are known as constant r circles r represents the resistive part so these are constant r circles whereas there are different types of arcs on the same chart circles and arcs are marked like this there are different types of arcs these arcs represents the reactive component so these are actually circles but they are not shown on the uh, graph so these are arcs which represent the reactive part so let us move to the smith chart to understand all these concepts in detail now i will explain you the different scales that are there on the smith chart as i mentioned there are two types of circles first is constant resistance circles these are the complete circles always refer horizontal line this line i am talking about if i am talking about innermost circle this circle then its center is at point 5 then consider the next circle its value is written as r is equals to 1 likewise the different constant r circles that is constant resistance circles are marked next type of circle is known as constant reactance that is x circles these are actually not circles these are arcs again consider refer this horizontal line i am talking about this horizontal line which is written as kr this is the horizontal line below the horizontal line values of x that is values of reactance are negative for example if i am talking about this arc this arc its value is x is equals to minus 2 because this arc is below the horizontal line same way if i will talk it talk about this second arc its value is x is equals to minus 0.5 you you are getting negative values of x if the arcs are below this horizontal line if the arcs are above horizontal line for example this arc its value is written as x is equals to 2 another arc this value is written as x is equals to 1 so these are positive values very simple logic if arcs are above this horizontal line they are having positive value if arcs are below horizontal line they are having negative value now this is the actual smith chart in which the constant r circles and constant x circles are combinedly marked even if it looks complicated the calculations are pretty simple once you understand the procedure now let me explain you what are the other different scales that are marked on this chart this is the outermost circle this is the outermost circle and inside this entire outermost circle entire chart is marked now the first scale i have marked i have written it like this the first scale this scale i am talking about before this before this this is the horizontal line this is the horizontal line 
which is taken as a reference. With respect to this horizontal line, entire scale is marked. Now, if I am talking about first scale, listen carefully. First scale is on this circle, on this circle, like this. And here it is marked as, read this value, wavelength towards generator. Now, this value is written as wavelength towards generator and arrow is like this in the clockwise direction. That means the values will start from zero. I am talking about this first scale. Values will start from zero. Likewise, this value is 0 0.04, then second value is 0 0.05, next is 0 0.06, 0 0.07 and so on. So likewise, this is wavelength toward generator it will continue it will complete this half circle at the half circle i'm talking about the first scale this value is 0 0.25 so on the horizontal line the value of wavelength towards generator is this value 0 0.25 now this value is continuous till the other end and the second last value is 0.48 then after that 0.49 and last value is 0 or 0 0.5 so the scale starts from if i'm talking about first scale this scale start from 0 to 0.5 it represents half wavelength because it is from 0 to 0.5 and direction of this scale is clockwise this is known as wavelength towards generator now same way if i will consider the scale inside this first scale which is marked as the second scale this scale it is marked as the second scale i am talking about this scale then same scale is continuing over here so this is the scale here read this value it is marked as wavelength towards load it is wavelength toward, towards load and arrow is like this it is in anti-clockwise direction so this scale starts incrementing in anti-clockwise direction for example this value is 0 0.04 0 0.05 0 0.06 same way it will continue at this point you are getting this reading 0 0.25 like the first case and again it will complete the entire circle and at the end you are getting value 0 or 0 0.5 so Related to wavelength, there are two scales. Outermost scale that I have marked is at first scale is known as wavelength towards generator, which is in clockwise direction, which starts from this point zero, completes the circle. So entire circle represents 0.5 wavelength. So reading is zero to 0.5. Whereas the second scale, second scale, which is inside this first scale, is in opposite direction that is in anti-clockwise direction like this it will go on incrementing in anti-clockwise direction this is known as wavelength towards load and it completes the circle whose value is again 0 to 0.5 now the third scale is known as the reflection coefficient rather angle of reflection coefficient this is the third scale this scale actually starts from rightmost side of the smith chart so from this point let us say this point is a so it starts from point a in this direction in anti-clockwise direction it goes on increasing refer these values this value is 20 30 40 50 and so on it will increment up to 180 degree on the upper portion whereas same starting point if i'm talking about lower portion the direction is in clockwise and the values are negative so it will again from 0 to minus 180 degree this scale is known as angle of reflection coefficient now i will explain you how how to mark different points on the smith chart suppose i have to mark the point 1 plus 1.2 j this first value 1 is known as value of r so value of r is 1 value with j is 1.2 this value is known as value of x like the last case in the last part i have explained this line horizontal line is taken as a reference 
Now I have to mark this point 1 plus 1.2 J. How to do it? 1 represents the circle for R. Circle for R means entire complete circle. The readings of this circle, circle for R, are marked by referring this horizontal line. So if I will refer this horizontal line, this entire horizontal line I am talking about, this point represents value for 1. Now, refer the value of x. It is 1.2. For value of x, refer this, this circle, the fourth number of circle. What is this value? Value of x is 1.2 and it is plus 1.2. So above the horizontal line. So I am referring this value. This value is 1.2. This value I am talking about. If you take intersection of these two circles, that means this is the circle for x. If I will draw it completely like this. This is the circle for value 1.2. This is the circle for value 1. It is the complete circle like this. So now, this is the point of intersection of two circles. This point, let us say point A, whose value can be written as 1 plus 1.2 J. Consider another value. Consider I have to mark 1 minus 1.4 J. This minus sign indicates this value of X is below the horizontal line. Before that, value of r is 1 again the same point i am referring complete this circle at the lower side so this is the circle for value 1 i have completed it at the lower side this is the circle of radius 1 at the lower side the value of x is minus 1.4 so on this circle on this circle i have to check i will have to check where is the value of 1.4 this is the value of 1.4 this value is the value of arc which represents the value minus 1.4 because it is below the horizontal line. Now, same way what we discussed right now, this is the point of intersection of these two circles X and R. So, value of this point is 1 minus 1.4 J. Dear students, these are main important skills which I have explained on actual Smith chart. How to prepare it? You need to uh, listen to this, watch this video by taking your own Smith chart and then my marking all the points which I explained in this video. In the next part, we will solve the different variety of numericals related to Smith chart. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video.